it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. Today's video will be a small MAC haul. Only got three products and also um, a wear test to see how well um, the lip products wear. So the first I got, can't really tell here, this is the MAC 15 Eyeshadow Warm Neutral. It's kind of, it's their um, like already made palettes. Let me take that off. Comes with 15 eyeshadows in here. I don't own any MAC eyeshadows just because they're pricey by themselves. But this was a better deal. It has very pretty colors. You kind of have some pinky red colors up here. A lot of warmer colors here and some very um, pretty neutral. Some popular shades are in here like Ginger Snap. Amber lights, um, stuff like that. So, I haven't really dived into this product yet. Um, I've swatched these, but I haven't really worn them. So, this is going to be something I make myself use. <laughs> I'm excited to use it. I got my cousin one um, for Christmas. So, I got that. And then MAC just released their Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colors. I only got two shades. I got Taylor to Tease and Oh Lady. Uh, I only got two shades because I have an abundance of lip products right now where I don't have anywhere to store them currently. So I got two to try out to see if I really like the formula before I go by. A lot more um if you do want swatches of the whole collection i'm sure you can google and find tons of videos um i just don't need that many so i got two they're kind of in the same family this is tailored to tease it's more of a pinky kind of color and this is old lady it's a more dark purple kind of color i'll try this on just to show you a color and then put old lady on and we'll wear it throughout the day if you haven't seen these yet they're very controversial of the packaging just because it has the mac top like the lipstick of the tops um and then it has almost like the cream sheen lip gloss bottom so i'm not a huge huge fan but i don't really care uh, i do like this is a weird thing but i do like that it has a clear wand right there i don't know why but that i really like it it has a pointy doe foot applicator so you can get really in the creases it's got some divots so it does hold product so you should not have to go back in to do a whole lip or anything like that so putting this on in the viewfinder the brush tickles my lips <laughs> So this is the shade Taylor to Tease. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's almost a little bit darker than it is in the tube. Let me see, man. Um, and it's very comfortable. It's very thin. It's almost a little moussey, kind of like the Ofra ones. It's very pigmented. Mm, it's sticky. Uh, but that is what the color looks like on me. I do like this color. So I'm going to take this off and put Old Lady on. So I decided to put Old Lady on in front of a mirror instead of the viewfinder just because it was a dark color and I didn't want to mess up. If you're wondering, I use the bite. I don't know what they're called, but they're lipstick removers. I don't know the exact name, but that's what I use to take off liquid lipsticks. The pink one is a little tricky to get off, so hopefully they last. This color was a bitch to put on. Flat out saying it, you can look and see. The bottom went on well. 
but it almost like dries so fast and then it wouldn't like adhere um, when you were trying to get the streakiness out of it. So the bottom looks really good and then the top is just kind of streaky. So I'll show you. You can see there it's just kind of streaky. The bottom looks so good. Uh, yeah, let's try and put on another layer now. The sticky's gone away. But it's the same packaging uh, as the other one. Still a nice uh, tapered doe foot. Clear, I love it. So let's see what happens now. See how it's almost not building on itself. Okay. Not pressing my lips together. I'm letting that dry and we will see. <laughs> it looks better. So it is 10 o'clock. Um, I am about to go get some juices. I've been up since two this morning. If you know anything about me, if you watch vlogs or anything, my sleep schedule is chaos. So I've been up since about 2.30 this morning and I imagine sometime today I'll have to take a nap. It's dry. It almost has like a powdery feel to it. A lot of people were saying it's sticky, but it finally dried down. It's got a nice powdery feel. It doesn't stick together. Mm -mm. But it makes my teeth look so white. <laughs> Isn't it so funny that it's 10 in the morning and I'm fixing to go out with dark, dark lips. Gray eyeshadow. Who am I today? Where? Who am I? I don't even know. So yeah, I will check back with you when I get my morning work done. Time for a quick checkup. It is 12.45. It's almost 1, so I've had it on, what, two, two and a half hours. Uh, the only thing I have really done is went and got a juice. It was an extra large juice um, and drank it while I was getting some groceries. I stopped at CVS and bought some new makeup. Oops. As I was in CVS, I could feel it, like, I don't know, you could feel it um, getting flaky almost, and then I have gotten a few flakes or pieces of it in my mouth and been like, ugh. So, I'll show you an up close now. Up there. Where it started, I'm flaking off. I don't know if it's just the shade, so it may just be the shade giving me trouble. I really think I will uh, do a wear test on this pink one, just because dark shades are hard and tricky anyway. So um, I will finish this one today. I'm about to sit down and have lunch. I've got um, a sushi bowl. So, we'll probably do some more damage. And then I've got to get back out of the house. I'm running a few more errands. And I'll check back with you. And then I'll probably lay down and take a nap. So, I thought I would do a quick check-in. It is 2.15. Military time. <laughs> um, I just finished eating lunch and... Laying on the couch watching Netflix as you do. So it is starting to wear. You got some patching off there. The corners and definitely the rear. It's starting to get feel that like I just need hydration. Like I just want to throw some lip balm on. 
yeah, it's definitely to that point. We've had it on four hours. So I say a good four hours and then we're done. So I am going to take this off because it's not going to get any better or worse. I mean, it may get worse. Um, but I mean, I don't think people would wear their lipstick out like this. So I would say a good four hours. And then you're going to be looking like this. So, it is a new day, and we are going to try Taylor to Tease today to see if it wears a little bit better than old lady. Every time I say that, it sounds like old lady. Oh, lady. I'm going to go put this on in a mirror, and I will be right back. I have nothing on my lips, but uh, Max Prep and Prime for lips. Lip color is on. I think this is a really, really pretty color. Um, I let it dry for a few minutes, and it just feels a little bit more tacky than the other color, like inside here. Feels tacky, but it doesn't transfer. But it just feels tacky when I talk, like I can feel it touch. Yeah, it kind of sticks a little bit. It's weird. Anyway, it is almost 3 o'clock. Um, today's been a late start to today. Uh, I've got to go to the office here and um, do some little errands. Do errands around the house. Take down the Christmas tree and all these Christmas decorations behind you. So I have to say, I am <laughs> quite impressed. I just had <clears throat> ravioli with the butter and it looks really good still. The only places it's worn off are just right here in the corners, but uh, it didn't really wear off here where I was putting it and I'll show you in a close up. So you can just see it's just here on the corners. Oh, there's something in my teeth. Uh, where it's worn off a little bit. But, I mean, just talking, you're not really going to tell. So, it has faded really, really well. It's faded here, but it's not like a dramatic. Uh, and on the inside... It's faded really well. This color, thumbs up. It is 9.30. You can't really see that well. <laughs> it is 9.30. It is the last check-in. Wearing Taylor to Tees. Um, I just had avocado on toast and drank a little bit of water and edited a video. Yeah, so it looks pretty good still. My foundation I'm trying has worn off, but but I think this has worn so well. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. Uh, it is transferring a little bit. I've had it on for six and a half hours. It's faded here, but you don't have butthole lips. I would like to get um, the more nude shade. I think it's called Back in Vogue. I think that's which one. I'm going to try it next. Because um, I think they're going to differ so much with the colors. So, yeah. Uh, oh, lady, I'm not really a fan of. I don't know if I'll wear it again. But this Taylor to Tease. I love the formula. I love the color. I love the longevity. My lips don't feel dry at all, and it wears off really nicely. So, that is my review on these. If you've picked up any, let me know which ones you've gotten. If you want to grab some, let me know which ones you're thinking about. Yeah. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it helped you in some way. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.